Okay, welcome back. As my day winds down, let me get this last part whoa, out of the way. It is my daily method of operation and what I send out to my team. This is the domestic end of things. So as you can see, I have across the top the days, oh, down the side, the days of the week, and across the top I have uh, the breakfast, lunch, supper, snack. There, I'm getting kind of close for you. And then along, along another side, I have the domestic things that I want to accomplish every day so that I know my home is tidy and nice, nice and neat. Uh, just as an example, as you can see on Monday, we'll have breakfast food. I call it breakfast food because I throw together all kinds of cereals into one. Um, and then we'll have peanut butter and banana honey wraps with a freshly juiced juice. Uh, for supper, we'd have curried sole and a salad and leftover granola balls for snacks that I would have made the day before. And I would make sure that I got my laundry done, the lights that I would dust, mop, and vacuum as well. There, we got some focus. Now, uh, to me, part of success in organization has a lot to do uh, with how well you can document what you do and follow through with it and um, so it's part of having some time freedom now on my daily method of operation for uh, just things I want to accomplish in a day I have across the top the days of the week down the side the time of the day starting at 5 a.m. now I'm sleeping at that time because my days run uh, to about 2 30 3 o'clock every single morning so at 5.30, I'm not going to be awake. You won't find me awake at all. And uh, so you see, I've blocked out where I sleep. I also have in all the red where I where we eat. So 8.30 to about 9.30, we're doing breakfast and uh, the lessons for my children because I do homeschool them. And then I'll make sure by about 10 o'clock every day that I'm starting my chores. So laundry and cleaning and that kind of stuff. And in between there... I'm doing some emails and uh, scheduling posts on Facebook and uh, we run into lunch Then I have places for where I get business things done. I usually work out somewhere between when I wake up and before breakfast. It's only about half an hour because as you can see that's about all the time I have. <laughs> and I'll even throw in when I'm prepping for supper and uh, this blank time is whatever webinars that come up or um, chats with my teammates or just straight up family time um, and as my night goes it changes from day to day now I don't follow these to the T but it definitely gives me an idea of what to do then I have a weekly method of operation where um, I accomplish something during the day and there, if there's one thing I want to accomplish then it's written down on this piece here. So on Monday it was for a video find me to start getting that out of the way and Tuesday is my team check-in night and Wednesday I do a nightly video. Thursday sounds of an entrepreneurial night which is my SoundCloud clips and uh, going to the library with my children, scheduling Facebook posts on Fridays because I'm not usually around. I'm really pretty busy on the weekend and then on Saturday, Sunday if I go out somewhere uh, to the science center or go sledding since it's very very much winter here in Canada right now and on Sunday are usually my Sundays are my errand days where I'll get groceries done and do my weekend plans weekly plans then I have a monthly method of operation these are all things that I send out to my teams to keep everybody organized and on the same page um, all of this can be done into your phone, but I find I'm old school that way. I like to write stuff down. It solidifies in my memory a little bit better. So I have January, February, March. It take, takes up two sheets here. And then I also have a little mind-body balance PDF that I send out to my team about taking care of their body, um, doing some purposeful movement every day um, because you need to eat well, which is where taking care of your body comes in and you need to move. I'm not saying go out and do 10-15 miles um, on a treadmill or lift weights um, constantly to bulk up. Just some purposeful movement every single day to get your body 
um, limber and to keep it smooth. So uh, what's the other thing I have here? Oh, taking the time to meditate and visualize as well, which is should be a daily practice for us all. So that was the PDFs that I was talking about in my last video. Hope you enjoy them and yeah, contact me if you're interested in getting them.